In case you missed the first two episodes of the series, click the annotation boxes that you see on your screen right now. Links will be in the description as well. Enjoy. Life for Taj Jordan during his senior year couldn't have been any better. He, his teammates and coaches have taken a program that, let's be honest, for the last 20 years have been the stepping stone for the other teams in the Oakland Athletic League. However, Jordan and company have managed to pull off an impressive string of victories each week with win after win after win. Taj has climbed his way onto the national spotlight and on the radar of most major colleges in the country. Taj Jordan has been touted the number 15 best running back in the nation by ESPNU. It seems that nothing the kid does could go wrong. Or could it? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting edition of Friday Night Lights here on the Blue Chip Nation Network. I am Mr. HD3, and with that kick, we have the Oakland Athletic League Conference Championship underway as the Skyline Tigers take on the Calcimine Knights in Oakland, California. Calcimine is at home. Skyline is the visitors, and both ball clubs are having a fantastic season as they're both undefeated. Skyline, for the past decade, has enjoyed much success in the OAL, winning four out of the last ten championships, whereas this season for the Castleman Knights have been a miracle season, some say, due to the All-American that they have in the backfield. Taj Jordan, the 5'8", 208 pounds. Speaking of Jordan, he gets the handoff out of the backfield to the strong side, scampers up for a six-yard gain on the play, brings up third and short for the Knights, but they will convert first and ten. Three minutes, 55 seconds left to go in the first quarter. High formation, Jordan gets the handoff, and he gets a six-yard positive gain for the Knights as they are marching down the field. Third and short, upcoming for the Knights. High formation, handoff from Mercury to Jordan. Jordan punches it for a three-yard gain on the play, and Jordan is in rare form with 4.5 carries, but third and forever for the Knights, and aye, aye, aye. This is when things get interesting for the Knights, folks. Skyline drives down the field, kicks the field goal, their first to score, put three points on the board. Later on in the second quarter, 4.25 left. Jordan back to field the, the kick, and he has the ball. Wazzle dazzles up the sideline, and he could go all the way out of bounds. 47-yard return for Jordan. I formation another time for the Knights. Second and three. Upcoming on the seven-yard gain for Jordan. Knights are down by three right now. Wildcat formation for the Knights. Jordan decides to give it to Bill Wilson up the strong side for a five-yard positive gain on the play. Third and five upcoming now for Castlemont. I formation. Merker hands it off to Jordan. Jordan gets the ball, and he gets clothesline, and Jordan is visibly shaken on the field. Coach Moore was just talking about how he wants to sparingly use Jordan for the playoffs coming up next week. First and 10 for the Knights. A minute and 20 seconds left to go in the first half. And Merker finds Wes Becker for a 20-yard reception up the middle on the slant route. Third and 10 upcoming for Castlemont. Just a little bit over a minute left to go in the first half. Trips right for the Knights. And aye, aye, aye. Jordan and Merker just aren't on the same page today. That was an intended halfback screen toss pass to Jordan, I should say, and he misses it. Meanwhile, Skyline is still marching up the field, still putting numbers up on the board. Skyline up by two scores right now, folks. Four minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Jordan gets the ball, and he gets a nice, decent game, six-yard run on the play. And Jordan, folks, has seven touches in this game. And Coach Poole's strategy of resting Jordan for the playoffs is absolutely backfiring as the read option for Jordan goes nowhere. And you know what? Everyone knows. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. And the Tigers is just marching up the field left and right on the Knights as they're up 17-0 in the fourth quarter. Oh, my God, no. Kevin, oh, my goodness, no. Merker throws an absolute laser beam to Ocean Drew, hooks up with the receiver for a 28-yard gain on the plate. However, folks, we only have 4 minutes and 25 seconds left to go in this ball game. The Knights are still scoreless. Great pass protection for the Knights as Merker finds Jordan, who's wiggled his way out of the backfield, finds a crease in the zone. Great play. 26-yard pitch and catch from the quarterback to the halfback. Let's look at this one more time. 
O-line, great pass protection, and Jordan is able to block off his route and just finds a crease in the middle of the field. Great pitch and catch. The Knights will score. Scores now 17 to 7. Tigers in trouble. Had to punt it off. Jordan is back there. Takes it up the field, but only gets a mediocre for a return. 10-yard return. Coming up on a two-minute warning for the Knights. Merker finds Greg Saria for a 49-yard catch as the receiver hauls it in. The basket catch for Gio and the Knights would score on that position. So, folks, 30 seconds left in this ball game. Castlemont Knights have never been down this whole season. They came into the fourth quarter down by three scores. Can they do it? Do they have what it takes to be crowned Oakland Athletic League champion for the first time in 19 years. 22 seconds left to go in this ball game. Pass over the middle, but Raymond is there with the deflection. 19 seconds, tick, tick, tick. 13 seconds, and the Castlemont Knight folks are in trouble. They're at home. Coach Poole looked like he's been outclassed and outplayed by the Skyline coach. Wall five receiver set for the Castlemont Knight folks. Merkin looks right, looks left, has a receiver. Tony Wynn up the sideline for the win. Anything's possible for the first time in 19 years. The Castlemont Knight folks are crowned Oakland Athletic League Hell Conference yeah, champions. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get money, son. Get money, son. Yeah, they can't stop and us. Folks, they take one more look at it here on an instant replay. Great poise and moxie from the young quarterback Merka who's only a sophomore stands in the pocket with great pocket presence and delivers the absolute best throw of his young life aye 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 folks it's been a doozy here in Oakland thank you guys so so much for watching Mr. HD3 and I'm out shout out to the big homie K Spade for that great intro I, I joke with that dude all the time like that dude can read church announcements and make it sound interesting come back tomorrow folks I have another episode of Taj Jordan Road to Glory until then I'll catch you on the next one I'm Mr. HD3 and I'll holler peace